If you're a veteran trying to qualify for your VA home loan benefit and you have overtime income, you might not be getting the right answer that uh, you might not be getting the right answer from the loan officer that you're talking to. And that is what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the uh, underwriting guidelines for calculating overtime income if you're trying to apply for a VA guaranteed loan. Now, the uh, the 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 reason that I'm doing this video is because the uh, the VA loan specifically has much looser guidelines than any other guidelines. And so uh, if you're trying to qualify for a mortgage and you have regular income and you have overtime income, uh, the overtime income is not treated the same as your normal income. That's either hourly or salary or something like that. Your steady income and then your overtime income. Overtime income is considered variable income because it's not always the same. You don't always work the same amount of hours every single day. You might work the same amount of or a similar amount of overtime hours in a in a week or a month or even in a year, um, but it's not always consistent from day to day. So there's a different calculation. You can't just take your year-to-date income on your pay stub and divide that by how many number of months, and that's not the income necessarily that we're going to use in your debt-to-income ratios for qualifying. So let's go through how to calculate or how the VA is going to look at your overtime income and how they're going to calculate that um, in order to help you qualify for the loan. So let's blow this up so it's a little bit easier for you to see. So what the VA um, what the VA is going to look at is they're going to look at your history of receiving um, of receiving overtime. Okay, so normally uh, normally most agencies are looking for a two year history of overtime, um, but the VA does have a two year, uh, does have an exception if you have less than two years. Now, most, most VA guidelines have exceptions. There's flexibility there. Uh, that's one of the primary features of the VA underwriting guidelines is that there is a lot of underwriter discretion. There's a lot of discretion for the underwriter making sense and patching holes in guidelines that you may have. Because I mean, quite frankly, if you're in the military, um, you know, your lifestyle is just different. You may move around a lot. Um, uh, you know, once you exit the military and then you start your career, that's a change of employment um, and all kinds of things like that. So so a good example of of receiving overtime less than two years is if you were discharged uh, 18 months ago. Right. And so you haven't been working in the private sector um, for more than uh, for more than two years. The other thing that they're going to look at is uh, the uh, if your overtime income is consistent increasing or decreasing. So let's kind of unpack some of this. Now, um, so the, the first thing that VA is going to look at is, um, is, is your history of receiving overtime income. Um, and you have to have a two-year history. So the VA really says that you need a two-year, uh, a, a, a a two-year uh, history of receiving overtime. Um, it does say that, uh, and that income must be consistent and likely to continue. And in most cases, the VA will not allow less than two-year um, income history, but there is an exception, okay? So if there is less than a two-year history, the VA will allow overtime income earned for, the, for 12 months or more um, to offset the debts uh, for the six to 24 months in duration. Now that's a little bit confusing, but essentially what the VA says is that while you may not be able to use less than two years worth of overtime income as income, 
to qualify. If you have less than two years worth of overtime, you may be able to use that to offset some of the debt. And that's going to help your debt to income ratio as well. So this is very, very different. Um, there's a lot of flexibility uh, in this. And this is, um, this is the reason why the VA loans are so great and so challenging because there are some really big veteran focused lenders out there that are just call centers and they will not tell you about these exceptions. They will not look at the guidelines. Um, if it has less than two years, uh, they're not even going to know what to do in most cases. So I just want you to know that this exception is out there. Um, there is no ABC one, two, three to get this exception. Um, that is underwriter discretion. And that's why you're going to need to work with um, an experienced loan officer so that they can give you a fighting chance uh, at using your, your, uh, your overtime income. Now, the other thing that the underwriter is going to look at is not only do you have a history of receiving this income, but is the overtime increasing or decreasing? Now, the guidelines, VA guidelines do not specifically address um, whether the income trends, whether it's going up or down. And in that case, what most lenders are going to do is they're going to use the underwriting guidelines for other agencies. Um, and the, the calculations for increasing and decreasing overtime income um, is pretty consistent. Most likely what they will do is if the income has decreased, um, but it is now stable, they will uh, verify that you have a two-year history of receiving that income, and then they're going to give you the average of the reduced overtime income averaged over the amount of time that it's been stable. So normally... In a, if you have two years worth of overtime, they're going to average the overtime income over 24 months. And that's where they're going to get the number that they're going to use uh, for your debt to income ratio. Okay. But if it's decreasing, what they're going to do is they're going to establish that there's a two year history, but they're only going to average the decreased amount and they're going to use the most conservative amount. Uh, the other Standard guidelines is if your overtime is decreasing and it does not look like it's stabilized, most underwriters are not going to allow you to use your overtime in that instance because there's no guarantee that it's going to stabilize or continue into the future if the trend is that it's going away. So again, this may be required documentation. This is going to require an experienced loan officer to fight for you. Um, Okay, this we just went over this increased uh, or or decreasing. They're going to use the guidelines for other um, for the other agencies. Now, the most important thing, and this is this is so important for VA loans. Uh, this is more important than any other demographic out there. If you are a veteran or if you're eligible for a VA loan. Um, there are some really big companies out there that are designed to just to focus on helping veterans and they have the word veterans in their name even. Um, but these are call centers in a lot of cases. Um, not all cases. Tr there are good people that work at these companies. There are experienced people that work at these companies, but for the most part, they only want the super clean and easy stuff. And if there's overtime and part-time and bonus and commission and all this stuff, they're going to get confused. And there's a high likelihood, quite frankly, your options are limited to the experience and the effort of the loan officer that gets your information, right? So if you're not choosing that loan officer and if you're not interviewing them, you just don't know what your options are. And my challenge with these business models is they don't tell you that they can't do it. They just tell you no. And that's why it's so important to work with an expert. So how do you know if somebody's an expert and how do you find that expert? Well, that's why I created findmywayhome.com. Uh, I started findmywayhome.com uh, 
it, when the real estate market crashed in 2007 and 2008. And I designed it, I created it specifically because I know that consumers don't want to talk to salespeople. So I did it to educate and empower consumers to make more informed decisions. So over the years, I've got a network uh, of of professional, experienced VA loan officers across the country that I know, like, and trust. And there's two ways you can get connected with these loan officers. You can click the link below um, to ask a question, and you can go in there, type in your question in as much detail as you have, and I will take that question. I'll match you with an expert on the network that I know, like, and trust that I know can help you. Or you can go to the bottom of the website, Click on your state and look at all the loan officers that we have that are licensed in your state. You can watch their content. You can watch their videos, read their bios, and reach out to them directly and ask your question to them directly. Either way, you're only going to be introduced to one person that I know, like, and trust. Uh, your phone's not going to get blown up uh, if you reach out to an expert through our network. We are just here to answer your questions and to um, and to help. And it is our belief that if we can earn your trust um, by answering your questions, that we have an opportunity to earn your business. And that's why we do what we do. So I hope this is helpful. Um, this is not ABC one, two, three answers. There's a lot of flexibility uh, in these guidelines. So if you have any questions at all, you can ask questions below. Uh, I will answer all of your questions. You can ask questions on Find My Way Home on the content, um, or you can reach out to somebody directly and ask them. So folks, I hope this was helpful. And um, if you are uh, a veteran and you're trying to apply for a VA loan, thank you for your service. Um, it, I am so passionate about keeping you out of those call centers uh, because every single day I see people telling veterans like yourself no uh, when that's not the right answer, when you do qualify, if they just put in a little bit more effort. Uh, so hopefully this helps. Uh, if you know anybody out there that you think this information uh, would help, uh, please like, subscribe, forward this content to everybody. Uh, my goal is just to keep consumers out of call centers and help you get connected with actual, ex actually experienced uh, mortgage professionals. So I hope this helps. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next time.